Now we're going to answer an FRQ from 2004, form B, question number one. In this problem, we are given the region R by the equation y equals square root of x minus 1, the vertical line x is equal to 10, and the x-axis. So if we're going to write out the given function, y equals square root of x minus 1, x is equal to 10, and the x-axis. So if we're going to visualize the graph of R, the graph of square root of x minus 1 is looking like this. Let's extend our x-axis up until 10. So the bounded region will be x equal to 10 and 1 and the y-axis. I mean the x-axis, which is y equal to 0. And this is our bounded region. So problem number one is we need to find the area of R. And to find the area of R, it's basically the integral of A to B of our top function minus our bottom function. Evaluated in terms of x. So we'll have, we know that the upper and the lower limit will be 1 and 10. And this is our top function going to the bottom function. So our top function is y equals square root of x minus 1. And the bottom function will be equal to 0. So we'll have the area equal to 1 to 10 of the top function, which is square root of x minus 1 minus 0 dx. So using our calculator, let's plug in the value of our first uh, of the function, which is square root of x minus 1 to y sub 1. And use math 9 from 1 to 10, the integral of y sub 1 minus the function 0 dx. And the area of the function that we have here is 18.000, so 18 unit squared. And this is problem letter A. Now let's go ahead and answer um, F or Q letter B. For B, we need to find the volume of the solid generated when R is revolved about the horizontal line Y is equal to 3. So if we're going to illustrate our function again, it's always easier to work with this problem if you are seeing your function drawn in a piece of paper. So this is our region R from 1 to 10, and this is y equals square root of x minus 1. And now it's supposed to be um, revolved about y is equal to 3. So this is our line right here. And this is y equals 3. So in this function, we are re revolving it around here. So this is the formula for finding the volume of a ring. And to find the volume of the ring, we have pi times the integral of the function, the big radius squared minus the small radius squared evaluated in terms of x from 1 up until 10. So this is now our um, um, integral function. So all we need to do is to figure out what r is or what big r is and what the small r is in our function. So in this case, big r will be from here because it's given in the problem that the x-axis is included in the bounded region. 
So we'll have the big R as top minus bottom. And the top function right here is y is equal to 3 minus the bottom function is y equals to 0. And it's going to be just 3. So that is our r function. And for the small r function, we have the smaller radius, which is right here. So the top function is at 3 minus the bottom function, which is square root of x minus 1. So this is basically the same as the big R top minus bottom. So top function is 3, and the bottom function will be the function squared of x minus 1. So now that we have our R and our small letter R, let's um, substitute the big and the letter R on our integral function. So we have pi 1 through 10 of the big R, which is 3 squared minus the small r, which is 3 minus square root of x minus 1 squared evaluated in terms of x. So using our calculator, so pi math 9 integral from 1 to 10. So we have 3 squared, so let's just put 9 right here minus the quantity 3 minus the function squared of x minus 1. We know that it's just the variable y sub 1. And we're going to square it dx. And our calculator is giving us the value of the volume for this region, and it's 212.0575. So I'll just write out 212. 0.058 unit cubed. And this is uh, the volume of this generated figure um, revolved about y equals 3. Now let's go ahead and answer problem letter C. In problem letter C, we need to find the volume of the solid generated when R is revolved about the vertical line x is equal to 10. So let's visualize what this function looks like. So we have 1 right here. This is 10. This is our function y is equal to the square root of x minus 1. And according to the problem, this region R right here will now be revolved around x is equal to 10. So that means we are going to be integrating our function horizontally. So we're going to change the orientation of our function from y equals the function. We need to change it into x equal to a function. So first, we know that what we're looking right here is finding or looking for the volume of a solid in disk form. So we are looking for the volume of a disk and the formula for finding the volume of the disk is going to be pi integrated from a through b. Since we are doing it from or horizontally, it's going to be the rightmost function minus the leftmost function squared. This time, we're going to integrate it with respect to y. Now, let's uh, talk about the upper and the lower limit. And since we are integrating this function in terms of y, we are no longer using 1 and 10 as our lower and upper limit. We need to change our orientation, so that means we're going to be integrating it from 0 up until the value of y right here, which we're going to find in a little while. So the lower limit we know is going to be 0. We just need to know what the upper limit is. And to find the upper limit, we just have to plug in the value of 10, which is x right here, to find the value of y when x is equal to 10. So y is equal to the square root of 10 minus 1, which is 9. 
therefore y is equal to 3. So we now know that this one is equal to 3, so we're integrating it from 0 to 3. Now the next um, function that we're going to be looking for will be right minus left, which is the rightmost uh, function all the way to the leftmost function, and to the right we have um, x equal to 10. So we have 10 minus left, and since we changed the orientation of our function, we need to be consistent with our function as well. So we need to change this in terms of x. So to get to have x by itself, square both sides. So we have y squared is equal to x minus 1. Add 1 on both sides, so we'll have y squared plus 1 equal to x. And this is now our new function for this um, curved function right here. So we're going to have y squared plus 1 as our leftmost function and we're going to square all of this dy. So let's use the calculator and find the volume of r gener um, revolved about x equal to 10. So we have pi mat 9 from 0 up until 3 of 10 minus parentheses y squared plus 1 it's just a variable so we're just going to use x right here x squared plus 1 and we need to square all of them so parentheses and insert another parentheses right here and let's raise it into the second power dx and our calculator is giving us 407.1504, so the volume will simply be 407.150 units cubed. And this is how we answer problem letter C.